and I thought about using the blue belt instead I'm gonna put this on since it's turbo yeah I need a little bit of uh, security there This is how to install a timing belt. I always start from the bottom, then stretch the belt. Since this is aligned to the flat side of the cylinder head, put on the belt like so. And here I line up the two dash line. Just about getting ready for uh, stretch the belt. I'm gonna go underneath. Once you are satisfied on how your initial belt is put on make sure that the nut that this is tight and I'm going to loosen my maintenance bolt since my uh, spring is already uh, installed all I need to do is loosen this up what they call the maintenance bolt and Loosen the nut and you are going to see that the belt tensioner will go up. The tension of the spring will pull it. All right, here we go. There you go. You see it move. Tighten it back up. Never rotate the assembly without tightening this, this nut. Otherwise, that belt is going to jump on you. Now the maintenance bolt, secure that. All right, recheck everything. Make sure I'm still aligned here. Make sure it didn't move. All right, let me verify that. That one is aligned. And I'm going to rotate the whole assembly. One rotation. Just bear with me. I need to adjust the uh, crank more often. Put a screwdriver on there. All right, top dead center. It's going up. I'm gonna align the two dash line. Don't worry about this for now. We still haven't uh, set the tension yet. That's a line. Verify that this is aligned also. It looks like I am right there. The alignment is good. Yeah, from here, I think it's good. Once your alignment Hope your cam gears are all good and also together with the uh, crankshaft. Now I'm gonna move three teeth. I'm going to turn the crankshaft about three teeth. One, two, three. I'm gonna line this up, align to the flat side of the cylinder head. It's okay if you passed it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to uh, get rid of the slack here on top. Here we go. That's one, two, three teeth right there. As you can see, no more. This is tight. This one's flex. Now I'm going to loosen the maintenance bolt again and the nut on the tensioner.
belt on the intake side it was flexing a little bit once i loosen this up it will get rid of that once again i'm going to loosen this you will see it it's gonna go up right there you seen it this one goes up tighten it back up and also the nut for the tensioner you don't want this thing to be loose when you rotate the assembly okay these two are secured now I'm going to rotate the assembly again and hopefully there's no more uh, slack the screwdriver goes down going up going down again it's coming up Now I need to line up those two dash line again, right there. I still have a little bit slack here. I can get rid of this by doing it another turn. And that's what I'm going to do. All right, three teeth. One, two, three, right there. So same procedure. Same procedure, loosen the nut and the maintenance bolt and hopefully I can get rid of the, uh, the flex on this side, right there. If you paid attention on the first time, there was a gap here. The spring would not pull it anymore, so I just gave it a little bit of a, a push and tightened it. And uh, we'll see, I'm about to rotate it. I think it's much better this time before you could see this thing bulging on some spots but now you hardly see it all right I'm gonna line up the two dash line right there yeah it's better that is how you set your timing belt tension using the manual tensioner just keep trying keep trying till almost get rid of the flex here yeah this time it's much better remove that just to verify that your camshafts are all aligned all you need to do is get a the correct size the camshaft has a, a hole in it and you just need to line up something that will fit on there right there goes in for the intake side it's on the forward side I'm all good it's not binding I don't have to push it hard it goes right through it's good if for any chance that you are using the OE cam gears and it would not lined up you tried your best line up everything you can make those two lines lined up together but the crank is off or you line up the crank but these two cam gears one of them are off or something you need to get an adjustable cam gears and how to adjust it is by using this right here. And you can play around with your cam gears, either advance or retard. And that's how you can set your adjustable cam gears back to zero. 
but if you are doing some kind of uh, dialing the camshafts that would be a totally different ball game right there but still this is to make sure to verify that your camshafts are all dead center all right next is put the cover and start it up make sure to torque that nut to specs okay before you button up everything all right and uh i will see you guys later once everything is put on together and we get to see if this thing is gonna work man all right that's in top dead center